Hi, right, welcome back to Everyday I Race. Today I've got another engine for a teardown, and this is a 2016 EcoBoost Ford. It's a 1.6 liter. Came out of a 2016 Ford Escape. It's a tiny engine. They come with the Borg Warner turbochargers, drive by wire, throttle, water. Oil cooler, individual smart, let's see, yep, smart ignition coils, and uh, its owner told me that he had a problem with the number one cylinder, so the, the plug is missing, and uh, the coil pack was not bolted in, and uh, the tricky part was uh, this engine supposedly only has 25,000 miles. So I'm very curious to see what something like that looks like on the inside and what exactly caused the problem and if it's fixable. So today, I'm going to tear it down and see if I can find out what happened to this engine. So that's enough talking. Let's tear this EcoBoost down. So step one is I'm going to remove the rest of the coil packs and then I'm going to remove the spark plugs and we get to take a look at them. Unfortunately, we only have three spark plugs left. One's missing, but they'll tell us something if the mileage is actually correct at 25,000 miles. So let's get to it. Two eight millimeter bolts. All right, so next let's look at the spark plugs to see if they can tell us a story. From my point of view, they all look the same, so let me show you what they look like. They look like it ran kind of rich, but there is no oil. There is no damage. There's a four. This is a three. And this is a spark plug number two. And they are original Ford Motor Company. This is the part number. So, so far, the other three cylinders look fine. I don't know what the fourth one looks like. So next, let's uh, take the valve cover off. It looks like it's got a bunch of eight millimeters. There we go. There's two hiding right here behind this cover of the high pressure fuel pump. Okay. There we go. This is off. here some kind of rubber cover let's take it out there we go looks kind of goofy Of 
course we can't get to this one so let's remove the uh, fuel pump Now we can remove the fuel injector harness. There we go. Looks to be a eight pin connector. 17 millimeter. Okay. Okay, fuel line from the pump to the fuel rail is out. Next we can remove the 10 millimeter. Now let's next let's remove the we'll try removing the pump. We gotta remove this stud right here. It holds the fuel line. Next. Oops. Ooh. A little bit of carbon here. Twenty-five thousand miles. And next, let's remove the fuel rail. There we go. Is there any oil in it? There's oil in it. Now we can get it out of the way. See what it looks like on the inside. Oh, oh! I see why uh, there's a problem with this engine. Look at this. That's supposedly twenty-five thousand miles. Twenty-five thousand miles. Yeah, not looking good, not looking good at all. Yeah, look at all that. Let's take the gasket out of there. 25,000 miles. <laughs> Apparently EcoBoost engines aren't bad after all. It's the lack of oil changes that uh, tend to uh, destroy them. So I think it's gonna be very interesting on the inside since uh, on the outside it looks like uh, it's got a hundred thousand miles worth of uh, oil and maybe it was changed one or two times so yeah all right so next plan is to remove the balancer I think this is an 18 millimeter bolt once we remove the balancer we can remove this timing cover this plastic piece that says bad on it it's got some kind of silicone on it i'm not sure if they cracked it or what but let's see what's behind it okay so Here. Ooh, it actually looks clean here, surprisingly. Just a 
goofiest thing ever. Look at that. Some kind of rubber guard that was held down here and here. There's a slot. Okay, there's a bracket. How about we do it the old school way? Here we go. Alright, what we got here? This is a original timing belt. BM5G6K288AA Fomaco. So, let's see. It's pretty tough looking belt. Look at that. No cracks or nothing. So, next, uh, let's remove the intake manifold. Knock sensor is good. Yeah. Way over my pay grade. Okay, there's a. I'll get it out of the way. I'm gonna remove the PCV hose. There we go. Okay. Oh, there it is. Interesting. It's got two ports per cylinder. Maybe it's a variable uh, intake. Now let's see if there's any carbon. Okay. Not a lot. This one's cleaner. And this is the bad, supposedly bad cylinder. Hmm, it looks average. They all look pretty average, so. Uh, we're not gonna bother with removing any of that stuff. Next, we're gonna remove the turbo. Okay, so first we gotta remove the heat shield and we'll remove this uh, uh, probably a coolant line for the turbocharger. There's another one down here. Looks to be eight, 10, 10. That one's missing. didn't break either you might want to see that all right so this is uh, either a return or supply for coolant as you can see it's been loose oh look at that it looks like it's been leaking something coolant so hopefully it didn't fry didn't fry the turbocharger but it was definitely leaking coolant so somebody forgot to change oil and somehow this part got loosened up even though I don't see anything behind the turbocharger so but it looks suspect so can we take that out all right here's the heat shield here we go here's the turbocharger 
Uh, so we got more weird stuff. We got silicone all over the head, like the valve cover is leaking maybe, but there isn't any oil, so that's uh, it's kind of weird. So we're not gonna remove the turbocharger separately because they're kind of a pain in the butt. You got one nut here, and then you got someone to the in the back. So what we can do, oh. What we can do is remove the studs that hold the, the whole exhaust manifold that's mounted to the turbocharger and then we'll remove the drain which is right here it looks to be this one bolt with a heat shield on it. it looks original but I already see some some problems see this stud see the stud it's moving around there we go it probably had an exhaust leak Yeah, let's see, they look to be what, 14 millimeter? Maybe 14. So, but first, I'm going to remove this uh, eight for the drain. That way we don't break it. Okay, we'll get this one. This feeds oil to the turbocharger. There we go. Okay. We're ready to go. Booyah. All the cylinders look very similar. I don't see any oil, so which is uh which is kind of good. Okay, so to to check a turbocharger, I usually look, try to spin the impeller and look for any play. I look in the exhaust, and it looks kind of, it look, it doesn't look bad, but it's definitely something oily. So it could have been a PCV system, but it's definitely clean. But on the front, I can't spin it. So one thing I can do is I can remove the inlet and look at the impeller, see if it, if there's any damage. Okay, so this is the inlet elbow you would I would call it. So remove the vacuum hose. Okay, so this looks to be made out of plastic. La plastic. Now, let's look at this tiny little fella. I got something in there. Some kind of... Uh, some dirt. All right, so what I usually do is I try to spin it. It spins and then I check for a side to side play by moving it back and forth. And it has very small amount of play, which is great. Next is in and out. So I'll press it from the back and from the front. And it has very small amount of play. So the shaft, I'm pushing it here. And I'm seeing how much it moves here. And then I push it here. And then I see how much it moves back. So very small amount of play. So it's probably in good shape. All right, so next, uh, next I'm going to take a break. Then I come, I come back and we're going to try to remove the cylinder head. 
I'm not sure if the cams have to come out. They probably do. So we gotta remove all this shebang. We gotta remove this shebang. We got. We might have to remove the sprockets. So I don't know, but I'll be back.